Rocking into this one. This is going to be game number one. It's going to be Hunger rocking the Fox versus Pipsqueak rocking the Pit. We're going to get right on into this. Fox, of course, still a very good character in this game. He's been good in actually every Smash game he's yes. been in. Viable, Me viable character in every Smash game. Meanwhile, Pit kind of in the middle right now. I've seen a lot of good Pits do some really interesting things. Oh, yeah, for I sure. I'd love to see Pipsqueak bust out some good stuff. But right now, it's Hunger in complete control. Very dominating performance right now. Oh, he oh, misses the... It. Oh, and misses the punish. I'm surprised he didn't just walk up and down smash. I mean, he could have yeah. just covered everything. Very interesting from Fox, who is still looking for this first kill. Still has a nice lead. Nice. Up smash. He called out the roll and then, like, waited to punish. It was kind of weird, but he does get it eventually. Hunger takes that first stock. Tries to get the hit there. Doesn't really confirm. Ooh, I like that. Calls out the illusion. Can he get more? He does not. Nair into jab for Fox. He's just going to rack up the damage himself. Tag. Another dash attack to Nair. I love what Hunger is doing on the ground here. Constantly punishing the landings rather than overextending with his Fox combos. That S smash is not even going to be enough to kill. Not yet. Goes for a forward air. I expected dash attack up air, honestly. Yeah, I that, did too, but... You can get like a frame trap with it if someone air dodges like he did. Yeah. Oh, the down air sends him up. So Fox is going to make it back. Again goes for the forward air instead of the up air. Mm -hmm. He's getting close to actually being able to kill this pit. Yeah. I think he might be waiting so that he can use the up air for the, at this percent. We'll see. Oh, but a nice little side B Good there from Pit. for Pit. There it is. Yeah, there you it called is. it out. Using the up air for this percent. Gets the single hit, gets the kill. So Hunger now with a full stock advantage. Straight to the jab string. Let's see what happens next. Wow, tried to go for full hop down air. I don't know what he was calling out. In general, Hunger's neutral game has kind of seemed really safe. Yeah. He only throws out a few options, but when they connect, he, he racks up the damage. Meanwhile, Pipsqueak not really able to find his own way in. Yeah, if you notice, both characters aren't really using their projectiles as each can both reflect. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, tries to call it the landing yet again. Tries to get Nair up smash. Fox desperately looking to finish this game so he can get that two stock and go home. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like the landing back here from Pipsqueak. Hasn't done that yet this game. Nope. But he doesn't get the pressure near the ledge, so Fox is going to turn it right around. Again, the landing back here. I think he knows Fox is trying to call the landing with up smash. Yes. So he's like, I need to land with a hitbox every time for the rest of this game. Yeah, good adjustment there. Back hit of down smash actually connects. Yes, so. Forced to illusion high. He's going to pull him down with Nair, and it actually kills wow. good stuff and to Pipsqueak. See if he can bring it back here. Oh, we tried to get him with the smash attack there. Yeah, Hunger he actually fishing for that up smash a little yeah. bit. Oh, that was there not the air dodge he wanted, there and there it, it goes. Great patience there from Hunger again. He's, he's, he's good at just waiting on the ground and seeing what his opponent does before punishing the landing oh, or punishing yeah. like an air dodge. And that air dodge was a key example. Because, exactly. I mean, as soon as he did that, I mean, he's in lag till he hits the floor. So Fox is just like, all right, I'm just going to charge this up smash and you're exactly. dead. You know, it's a lot of these top seeds are very patient, just very careful with the way they play. And they've been around the game for so long. So, you know, they know what they're doing. Absolutely. You kind of have to do that in this game. I like the character switch. We're going from pit to dark, dark pit. pit. I'm not too familiar about Dark Pit, so maybe you can enlighten me here. Dude, no one's familiar with Dark nope. Pit. Nope. All right. <laughs> he he had a he had a, a reason in mind, and no one knows what it is. There we go. We've got the the up air juggles. Fox already again off to a huge start. Good start for Fox. He's keeping it going. Side beat a forward air. Wow. I love his use of forward air, man. He just loves to just throw it out. And oh, every yeah. time I see it, I think it's like the me brawler helicopter kick. I think oh, he's just right. going to die. Yeah. But no, it is just Fox forward air. 
racking up the damage. Baits the air dodge again. There it is. He's so good at that. <laughs> wow. That was impressive. All right, now it's Dark Pit's turn to turn something up. Nope. It's actually Fox gets him right back with that down air. Yep. You see Fox starting to use the laser a little more. Oh, I like this edge guard, though. Oh, he doesn't fall off, but it doesn't matter. Oh! oh. Wow. <laughs> that was so sick from Pipsqueak. He did everything right. I thought he had messed up, and then all of a sudden, he's just like, I don't need any more jumps. I'm just going to down air you. Exactly. Get out of here. All right, Hunger, Hunger turning it around. Still has the lead here, but maybe Pipsqueak can bring it back. Ooh, I think he knew he was going to roll, just didn't space the up smash quite right. Yeah, Hunger has been great at trapping landings, but he's not so great on his confirms. He's missed no. Nair up smash a few times this set. A couple times, yep. And it's Pipsqueak now kind of adjusting his edge guards, nice. and he might have just taken another stock. Can he finish it? Oh, no, there you see. Oh, not yet. Great recovery this time from Hunger. Oh, no. Not like oh, this. Oh, okay, I thought he was good. about to run out there. And you know, we were talking about Hunger had this huge lead in the first stock, but all of a sudden it's a dead even game. I think Very whoever even. takes this first stock will be kind of will have the momentum to carry them through this game. Yes. Let's see who it will be. Because right now Hunger has Pipsqueak near the ledge and that and back air connects. Be hungry taking the lead here. Let's see how long he can maintain it. Yeah, I think he, because he's been so good at these early percentage combos, I'm a little worried for Pipsqueak. He needs to get this stock now, or Hunger's going to start running away with it. Oh, he tried to side B. He, he had the it. call out. And here it goes There's again with the damage. Air. 70 damage already, and Pipsqueak can't find the ending. There and that could do it. Not oh, quite. Not yet. Oh, well. He tried it. He tried it. <laughs> he tried, and Hunger wasn't even ready to punish. Oh, he does it again. There it is. Wow. Nice. The tech the tech punish, but again, look at the damage. Hunger just, I was about to say, just needs an up smash, <laughs> but he beat me to it. it Hunger's going to take the game. One step ahead of you there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Good stuff to Hunger. He was the one seed. He's going to move on to round two of pools. Good match for Hunger there. Yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised. I still don't think we've heard Wave D called, but I also don't see a match. So we're transitioning now. Uh, I think uh, That's we... That's it for us then, I guess. Yeah, we're both going to hop off, but thank you guys so much for tuning in for this Wave C of Pools. Up next is going to be Wave D of Pools. Don't forget, share the stream link with all your friends. We are here at Saints Gaming CA on Twitch TV, uh, and we have a lot of awesome talent here. You saw Black Twins on earlier. You're going to see Ally in this next wave. He is a Wave D competitor. Yes. And a lot of Canada Canadian greats are here today, so tune in. Uh, oh, hey, we have What's a camera. Up, guys? <laughs> so we are hopping off. Thanks again for tuning in. All right, yeah. Any shout-outs? Uh, no, don't go, Daddy. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. All right, see you guys. Thank you. Like everybody did just mention, Wave D is just about to get started. They will be calling it out very shortly, so we probably have ourselves about a five-minute break before getting started with that. In the meantime, I do want to bring attention to, to something, as we do have Saints Gaming Live happening in May, May 11th specifically, where Smash Ultimate's got itself quite the pot bonus. We got $5,000 in pot bonuses for it. And be sure to follow the social medias for Saints Gaming because once we do have our pro players and personality announcements ready, you will find them there. Be sure to register now if you wish at smash.gg slash SGL 2019. Use the code FROZEN to get 10 bucks off your registration. Also, if you're looking to take esports as a career path, esports administration and entrepreneurship at St. Clair College might be the spot to get started. Whether it's commentary, trying to stream, or maybe on the more business side of things, maybe you want to run your own organization one day, 
this would be an awesome spot to start. Get more information at SamesGamingCA slash esportsacademics and apply now. SamesGamingCA slash join.